Here at Salem State, we have a pretty significant challenge uh, in the music technology program. One of the challenges is we have to teach non-majors and majors music technology. Where that becomes difficult is when you're trying to teach music technology to people who have never seen any sort of theory or any sort of uh, musical instruments. Uh, they never picked one up, they never touched one, they never played one. So for us, we try to use music technology as an equalizer. Um, I think with music technology and the access that students have to the technology nowadays, we can really utilize that in a certain uh, pedagogical form. For example, uh, a lot of students nowadays know how to code, they know how to write computer programs, they do it for fun. Uh, a lot of other students uh, build their own uh, LED modules or whatever it is you know, through the use of Arduino or Makey Makey. So for here, at Salem State, what we use is we use a, um, a little prototyping board called a Makey Makey, and we integrate that with Scratch programming, we integrate that with GarageBand, we integrate that with Pro Tools. And I think that gives everybody a common ground uh, to start creating music. And we really approach creating music through technology in the purest form. We don't worry about the notes, we don't worry about the rhythm. That stuff all comes inherent to how humans are. Um, but what we do is we give you the tools to just start exploring and creating. It's very uh, much a John Dewey experience uh, through education. So what we do is we allow the students to just experience what this stuff does, play around with it, break it, fix it. How does this become something that you can make music with? So this project right here is using the Makey Makey as a controller for um, scratch programming. So what I've done here is I've taken a styrofoam globe and I have the Makey Makey attached inside to um, all sorts of aluminum foil and they're just buttons covered in aluminum foil so they're conductive. The ground is right here so then when you touch one of these um, it will interact with the game and this is the little controller that Melodious the Musical Mage will be teaching us about. It's based off of um, Guido's hand which is why we have the musical staff now. I think one of my proudest teaching moments uh, happened this year and uh, it was outside of the classroom. I had one particular student uh, who took one of my intro courses and um, he started to see what the possibilities were for possible career paths in music technology. It was just a survey course that he took, but he saw that you could be an audio engineer, you could be as a person that composes music, you could be somebody that creates sounds, you can be somebody that does Foley, you can be somebody that does audio for video games, that programs the audio for video games. You can see uh, all the different pathways and I think that really shaped his uh, trajectory in uh, his college career. So what he ended up doing was uh, creating uh, a student chapter of the Audio Engineering Society and he started bringing people on campus to talk about what uh, some of the career pathways do. He got together a executive council and the executive council put together a proposal and got it passed through our student groups and activities uh, department here on campus and with that comes funding. So it was really interesting to see how one small, not a throwaway comment, but a small comment about oh yeah this can be a career path you know, really blossomed for this particular individual and how uh, that became a motivational factor and really shaped the career path. 